our mild temperatures might have some people thinking about spring and snow melt. Meteorologist Jacob Morse gives us an early preview of the potential for spring flooding. Jacob? Monica, with deficits in precipitation region-wide, you might think that we're in the clear for spring flooding, but a hidden danger exists right at our feet, especially if we were to get a large rainstorm later on. Last winter was on a record-setting pace for snowfall through late January, causing some problems with flooding by the spring. But this November through January has featured much less moisture, in some cases half of what's normal, and far less snowfall than last winter, and the snowpack that we do have is rapidly melting. So by the time we get into this weekend, we're really not going to have a lot of snow on the ground. Now, that suggests that we shouldn't have problems with spring flooding. However, the melted snow is not soaking into the ground much and ponding up. Our Arctic blast in mid-January drove frost steps down to about 23 to 33 inches across the state. It takes a while to get that down there, but it also takes a pretty good amount of time for that to thaw out going into spring. Where it causes us concern is that it makes the ground really impenetrable to water right now. He says through early spring, our ground surface is going to probably be the worst we've seen in a few years. It is wet, it is going to be frozen hard, and it's going to be impermeable. So if we get any kind of rainfall, or if we do get a lot of snow moving forward and it melts, it's all going to run off come this spring. Even though we had a deep snowpack for practically all of last winter, that insulated the ground and kept soils warm enough to absorb much of the melting snow in spring. The problems this year could come from our essentially bare ground staying frozen and a big rain event in late winter or early spring. We could see absolutely a fair amount of overland and stream flooding if we get a large rain event in March. The long-term outlook for February through April has a slight favoring of above normal temperatures and equal chances of above or below normal precipitation. As for the Missouri River, ice has formed from Bismarck to north of Washburn and it'll likely stay there until spring. At that point, we would hope for a gradual warm-up so that the ice forms or the ice melts on the Missouri River first before ice from surrounding tributaries funnels in, possibly leading to flooding and ice jams. At Pioneer Park in Bismarck, I'm meteorologist Jacob Morris reporting for your news leader. All right, thanks, Jacob.